Psalm 123 verse 1 to 125 verse 2 through the Bible. Psalms 123 to 125. Theme. The pilgrims see the temple, then Mount Zion, and finally stand in the security of Jerusalem. These are also a part of the pilgrim psalms and form a little cluster of three psalms that tell a story. Psalm 123 has been called the Eye of Hope because the temple comes into view and the children of Israel turn their eyes to God in hope. The temple was a means of approach to God. Under the lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Psalm 123 verse 1 The psalmist is making it very clear that God is not confined to the temple. He is not in a box in Jerusalem. The critic is wrong when he says that Israel considered Jehovah God a local deity who lived in their little temple in Jerusalem. The psalmist makes it abundantly clear that Israel did not believe any such thing. He addresses him, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. The pilgrim comes within sight of the temple, but it causes him to lift his eyes to heaven, knowing that God dwelt in the heavens. The temple was only a means of approach to God. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God, until that He have mercy upon us. Psalm 123 verse 2 When you are working for someone, you watch the clock and you watch the boss. You are sure to be working when he is watching you. How many of us live as though God is looking at us all the time? Well, he is. We are always under his eye. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. For we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Psalm 123 verse 3 The children of Israel have been despised in the world, and now they are coming to Jerusalem. They are asking for mercy, knowing they are sinners and need God's mercy. They have not come to Jerusalem to pat themselves on the back. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. Psalm 123 verse 4 Israel has now come to Jerusalem, the eye of hope. They are looking to the one who dwells in the heavens. I wonder if we are looking in that direction today. Psalm 124 is a historical psalm. As Psalm 123 is the eye of hope looking to the future, so Psalm 124 is the eye of the past, reviewing the history of God's mercy to them in the past. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us. Then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Psalm 124 verse 1 to 3 As the Israelites look back over their history, it is obvious that God has moved in their lives and made it possible for them to go up to Jerusalem to worship. For this they are giving thanks to God. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Psalm 124 verse 4 These would be the waters of the Red Sea and the waters of the Jordan River and the waters of circumstances in which they found themselves many times. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Psalm 124 verse 6 They know it is God who has helped them. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm 124 verse 8 The children of Israel are worshiping the Creator, who made heaven and earth. This is a wonderful little psalm. Now in Psalm 125, as the pilgrim sees Mount Zion, his heart is encouraged for the future. For our own hearts we can bring this up to date and say, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1 verse 6 
This has been called a song of security and is a prediction of Israel's national restoration. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. Psalm 125 verse 1 The pilgrims have come from all over the land and beyond the land. As they came, they saw the mountains of Judea. Then they saw the hills around Jerusalem, and now they can actually see Mount Zion. They are moving toward Jerusalem and can see the city clearly. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about His people from henceforth even forever. Psalm 125 verse 2 This is a wonderful psalm with blessed assurance that all who put their trust in Jehovah are like the unmovable, never-changing Mount Zion.